Hey guys, CP3 EP back with you, and we are going to rebuild the New York Jets. Um, I've already made a couple moves, and as I go through the roster, I'll share those with you. It's going to get started. So, we're gonna, as you guys know, it begins in the preseason, and I went ahead and had it um, start in the preseason uh, of last year. Actually, scratch that. I updated the rosters. So these should be the rosters that are the most up-to-date rosters. So um, I believe that we will play last year's season, but the rosters should be up-to-date. But I'm hearing a lot from a lot of people that free agents and stuff like that are not getting moved over to their new teams and stuff like that so anyway we'll fly with that we're gonna we're gonna ride with Zach Wilson um, our first year he's 23 years old he's only a 70 overall uh, I believe he's only a star dev but we're gonna see what he can do this year and we have two mentors behind him, Cam Newton and Joe Flacco. As you guys know, Brees Hall, one of the dynamic uh, rookies uh, this past year, 81 overall. He's only 21 years old. He'll be starting at running back. At wide receiver, Garrett Wilson, 83 overall. 22-year-old wide receiver rookie out of Ohio State. And there's good and bad about that. He's an 83 overall as a rookie. And the bad part is that he is our best wide receiver. So we probably need to upgrade that receiver. We definitely need him to get touches and get it just get as many catches as he can as many touchdowns as he can and hopefully he can win uh, rookie of the year and uh, turn into a uh, number one receiver but we have Elijah Moore and Corey Davis as our second and third receivers a tight end um Tyler Conklin, who's going to start for us. He's 27 years old. He's only a 78 overall. So he really is like a bridge tight end. Uh, but he will be the starter for us. At left tackle, we have uh, the two year vet, I would call him, from Louisville, Makai Becton. Uh, he's the right tackle for the Jets. I moved him to the left tackle to protect the blind side of our quarterback. He's 23 years old, 78 overall. On the right side, we've got Dwayne Brown. Probably his last year. He's a 76 overall. And his backup is George Fant. As a 74 overall, 30 year old. At left guard, we have Lake and Tom Munson, who is an 81 overall, 30 year old. And Elijah Vera Tucker at right guard, who looks to be a promising 23 year old, 79 overall, uh, right guard out of USC. And then at center, we have a veteran there, 29-year-old Connor McGovern, who's a 77 overall. So the line could use some work, but at every position, we seem to either have uh, young players on their way up or veterans, and they're all mostly in the high 70s. 
So we probably will need to address that through free agency uh, or the draft. At left end, we have John Franklin Myers. He's 25 year old, 83 overall. Uh, he's pretty good. And I think he could fill this role for us at left end. We'll see how he plays for us. Carl Lawson, a little bit older, 27 years old. He's been in the league now for about five years. He's an 80 overall, but he can manage the right end spot until we can upgrade. Defensive tackle, we have one of the best in the league. And Quinnen Williams out of Alabama, 6'3", 303. He's a 24 year old, 93 overall defensive tackle. And we'll be running a 4-3 defense. And so Sheldon Rankins, 28-year-old, 76 overall, will be our second DT. Left outside linebacker, we have Quincy Williams. And here's where it gets a little bit lean in our front seven. Is He's only a 71 overall at 26 years old. And then Quan Alexander is a 28-year-old, 75 overall, at right outside linebacker. And then at middle linebacker, we have C.J. Mosley, who is, is, has been great throughout his career. He's an 86 overall, but he's 30 years old. And in Madden, that generally means that he's, he's gonna decline if he's not already declining. So we'll need to find a replacement for him as well. Another good and bad news here. Sauce Gardner, great draft pick by the Jets this past year. Rookie out of Cincinnati, 6'3", 195. He's 22 years old. He's 89 overall. Uh, the bad news is he is our best cornerback by far. Uh, DJ Reed is our second corner and he's an 83 overall, 25 year old. And then Bryce Hall, 78 overall, 24 year old. So we'll probably need to upgrade that if we can through free agency. Uh, we'll just have to see what's available at the end of the year. Uh, our secondary is really, really hurting uh, for safety. We, we have 78 overall, 31 year old Marcus Joyner. He's not going to get any better than that. He definitely is a bridge player. Jordan Whitehead is a 25 year old, 79 overall. Strong safety. Uh, he could get better. I believe he's a star dev. So there's a chance that he could uh, get get better and help us out. But if not, we're going to have to, to replace him. A kicker, we have, we have Greg Zerline. Uh, he's probably going to retire pretty soon. He's serviceable as a 77 overall kicker. And then at punter, we have 24 year old Braden Mann, who is a 74 overall. They project us to have a fourth pick in the draft, so they think we're going to be pretty bad. So uh, we'll see how we do. We'll go ahead and sim the regular season. All right, guys, we're going to advance to mid-season. So we'll see you there. Okay, boys and girls, we are at the end of the season, right before the playoffs. It looks like we finished with a 9-8 and eight record. And we just missed the playoffs uh, by 
by a game it looks like so uh, we had a pretty decent season uh, I would say an average season but we still have some holes to fill so we'll see let's go ahead and take a look at stats for our guys and see how they did and then we'll fill some holes by bringing guys back that we need to bring back and, um, and then look at the free agency. All right, Zach Wilson threw 4,771 yards, 45 TDs, 18 interceptions, and a 64% completion percentage rate. Not a bad season. I don't like the 18 picks, but he did have a pretty, pretty good season. Breeze Hall, 1,176 yards rushing, 4.2 yards per carry, and 7 TDs. Receiving Garrett Wilson has 78 catches. 1,244 yards and 18 touchdown catches. That's Randy Moss-esque right there. Tyler Conklin, our tight end, had 93 catches for 1,090 yards and 11 touchdowns. Elijah Moore had 69 catches for 944 yards and 8 TDs. And Breeze Hall actually had 68 catches for 669 yards and three touchdowns. CJ Mosley led our team in tackles with 147. Quan Alexander was second with 128. Sauce Gardner was third with 87. Tackles for loss, Carl Lawson had 21, and Quentin Williams had 20. And John Franklin Myers had 17. We don't have a great pass rush. It looks like Quentin Williams did most of the work for us in getting to the passer. He had 11 and a half sacks. Next was John Franklin Myers with five and a half. And then our second seed tackle, who had five. So we need, we're gonna need somebody, somebody else who can get after the quarterbacks in this league. All right, guys, I'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys, let's view the year yearly awards. Deshaun Watson won the NFL MVP. Didn't have anyone in the top 10. Robert Sala, our head coach, was fifth in coach of the year. Offensive player of the year was Austin Eckler from the Chargers. Garrett Wilson finished second. Defensive player of the year was Vaughn Miller from the Bills. Offensive Rookie of the Year was Garrett Wilson from the Jets. And Brees Hall finished second. And Sauce Gardner finished fourth in Defensive Rookie of, of the Year voting. So we had one, two in Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, voting or awards, so. Pretty great seasons for those two guys. Looks like this Super Bowl is the Bucks and the Chargers. And the Bucks come out ahead, 35. 21. Tom Brady 
is your Super Bowl MVP. Never heard of the guy. Just kidding. So the Bucks won another one, and Brady is still playing. Move forward to resign players. Let's check out retirements as well. So we had no one retire this year. Mock draft has a quarterback going first to the Falcons. Wide receiver second. The speed rusher. The left outside linebacker going third. A right end and a cornerback. All right, Sheldon, we'd like for you to come back, but we're not gonna break the bank. All right, we got our starting, our other starting to tackle back. We want Quan Alexander back at the right price for one year. Quincy Williams, I believe, is a starter at left outside linebacker, but we can find something better in free agency. So we still have 56 million left in cap room to go into free agency. So we'll see you guys there. And there's Mr. Nick Bosa and New York Jet Green. Looks good. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna sim to the playoffs 2024. Here we are guys at the playoffs. We won the AFC East with a 12 and five record. Let's see where that puts us in the playoffs. So that puts us as the number one seed again. Let's see who we play. So we face the Chargers who are 10 and seven. They are an 86 overall. We are an 89 overall. So let's jump into the game here real quick. Wilson, 
first down, first and goal, Wilson to Wilson. Second goal. Down Jets, Breeze Hall. Wilson to Wilson. First down, Jets. A seven yard run by Breeze Hall. Garrett Wilson, touchdown pass. Wilson. More with the catch. Nine yard pass. Fourteen Jets. 
One minute, 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Breeze Hall. Really nice run. Chargers used the last time out. Guys, we are in the conference championship against KC. Daddy. And that is Daddy. my two year old son right there. Dad. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah, that's me. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's me on TV. Nothing Jets, 14-3, four half, 14-6, 21-6, 21-9, Jets, 28-9, 28-16, 28-23 Jets with 143 left in the fourth quarter. Brees Hall for another one yard run. First down, Wilson to Wilson. Looks like this game's over, folks. Zach Wilson leads the Jets along with a really good performance by the defense to, to another victory. Zach Wilson had a 91 overall. We'll advance to Super Bowl week where we will face the Washington Commanders. Let's view the team stats real quick. For the season, Zach Wilson had right at 5,000 yards passing, 47 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and a 68% completion percentage, right? Priest Hall had 1,255 yards rushing, 4.4 
and our average 13 TDs. Garrett Wilson had a ridiculous season again. 90 catches, 1,534 yards, 20 TDs. Tyler Conklin had 91 catches. CJ Mosley led our team with 117 tackles. Nick Bosa led our team in tackles for loss with 23. Quentin Williams was right behind him with 20. And in sacks, Nick Bosa led our team with 18 and a half. 72 tackles for Bosa, 23 tackles for loss, and 18 and a half sacks. That is a game changer right there. Quinn Williams had nine sacks, and John Franklin Myers had eight. CJ Mosley had three picks, led our team. We'll view the yearly uh, awards. Zach Wilson finished second to Trevor Lawrence in the MVP voting. Robert Sala finished first in Coach of the Year. I don't know if it's voting or, or what it is, but he got the Coach of the Year. Let's see. AFC Josh Jacobs was the Offensive Player of the Year. Garrett Wilson finished second. Defensive Player of the Year was Miles Garrett with the Browns. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Chief Clark with the Bills. And Defensive Player of the Year, Denzel Baldwin with the Bills. So it's Super Bowl time, we face Right here's the Super Bowl versus the Commanders. Let's see what happens. Let's go Jets. Looks like Dak Prescott is the quarterback of the Commanders. Jets look ready though. Both teams were able to run through the Gatorade containers, so. I don't know if that means anything, but that's pretty remarkable. Good graphics there. Here we go, here's kickoff. Wilson to Wilson. Common connection. In completion there, second and ten. Hall gets close to the touchdown, gets nine yards on the play. Touchdown, Jets. Breeze Hall. That's at 31 21 with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Breeze Hall. Breeze Hall, so close to the end zone. We'll just go with the old halfback dive. Boom. Touchdown, Jets. Thirty-seven twenty-one Jets. Yeah. 
So at least for one day, it is the Jets day today. Super Bowl chance. Led by Zach Wilson and Breeze Hall. fans but we're Jets fans today huh so that's it guys the Jets win the Super Bowl that's the probably the beginning of a dynasty for the Jets but we're gonna end it there so thanks for watching appreciate if you would subscribe like the video um, and if you're already a subscriber, I appreciate your support. And it's always great having you here, friends. Take care.